This video demonstrates remapping the resources of your Godot project based on the feature tags of your export presets. This process lets you change how a game looks and behaves with different export presets without needing to modify any existing scenes or resources in your project. This means that it's useful when porting your game to a new platform or introducing a new version of your game, such as a playable demo. Additionally, any remaps that are not used will be excluded, so this can help reduce the file size of your export. I've already configured the export presets for this project, and added a few that will allow me to preview what each platform will look like after resources have been remapped. Because remapping is based on feature tags, I have added my own custom features that I can use on both my preview exports and the main exports. I could use built-in features, such as Android or mobile, but these would not allow me to safely preview the resource remapping on my editor platform. I've also added a couple of other custom features, an XR feature tag for the XR export, and a demo feature tag for the playable demo export. In this example project, I have a simple scene that contains a texture, an audio stream that can be played, and a reference to another packed scene. This default scene inherits from a base scene that has a text label, so any changes to the base scene will apply to the default packed scene that our main scene uses. I've already created some new audio files and textures that the default ones will be remapped to. In your game project, the default resources would be the ones that you used for the first or primary export of your game. For the packed scenes, I'll make the remaining new ones by simply duplicating the default scene and changing the text of the label. Now we'll start remapping. You will need to download the Resource Remaps plugin from the Asset Library. After you've installed it to your add-on folder, make sure that it's enabled in your project settings. You will notice a new tab that looks similar to the Localization Remaps feature that's built into the Godot editor. I'll start by remapping the default texture that's used by my project's main scene. In your project, this might be a button graphic that is specific to the platform's game controller, for example. From top to bottom, the first remap in this list to match a feature in the export will be used. In this case, the XR remap will never be used because the export will first match the Android feature tag. To resolve this, we simply need to move the XR remap to be a higher priority. This way, exports with the XR feature tag will use the XR remap, and all other Android exports will use the Android remap. Similarly, the demo remap should be high on the list. All files on the remap list that are not used will be excluded from the export. As an example, for iOS exports of the project, the default resource will now point to the iOS texture, and the old default texture will no longer be included in the export. All other textures in the remap list will also not be included. This keeps your final export size small, which is extremely valuable when targeting web or mobile platforms. Next, I'll remap the default audio stream. This default is a high-quality audio file that I want used on PC and XR platforms. On mobile and web, I want to use lower-quality audio streams that have smaller file size. Normally I would remap to a file with the same extension, but for demonstration purposes I have used a WAV file for PC and MP3 files for mobile and web. Because I want my XR export to use the default high-quality audio stream, I'll add a remap for that feature as well. It's entirely fine if the remap just points to the original path. This way, the mobile remap won't affect XR exports. Finally, I'll remap my scenes.
Again, using the built-in feature tags also works great, but using these custom features lets me set up my own preview exports on my editor platform. Now that all the remaps are set up, it's time to export the project. I'll export Windows and the iOS preview. The output logs when resources have been remapped during the export process. Default. Mobile. This plugin is MIT licensed, so make sure to add its license to your license text. Finally, if you've used this plugin in your project, Share it on the showcase discussion on GitHub.